Hey YouTube, a quick good morning video from Arwen of Tarot by Arwen. It's still morning here in New Mexico. It's only 1030. It means it's noon with for you Eastern people. Wanted to read you a quote for a little something to think about. Uh, reminder, I hope y'all are still doing your daily gratitudes. I'd love to hear them tomorrow. We do have a contest going on tomorrow, and I'll announce that tomorrow, how you and a friend can win a half-hour tarot reading from me each. But here's the quote. It's by Alexander Solzhenitsyn, who is a Nobel, a Nobel laureate, um, a novelist. And he says, if only there were evil people somewhere insidiously committing evil deeds, and it were necessary only to separate them from the rest of us and destroy them. But the line dividing good and evil cuts through the heart of every human being. And who is willing to destroy a piece of his own heart? Something to think about. A little darker than a lot of my quotes. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about evil and good. What What is evil? What is good? And it comes down to the idea that what we do in the name of good, I just realized my Camera's over here. Ha, 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 ha. I'm doing what those newscasters do. Um, but what we do in the name of good may be evil to someone else. You know? Is it good to rip up trees and clear land? Or is it evil? What if we're creating houses for people who don't have houses? What if we're creating homes for those who are out in the, the elements, cold, wet, hot, no, no safety. Is it good or is it evil? You know, is it evil to go out and shoot a deer if we're taking the meat to the orphanage? Actually, um, in some states, I don't know if it's still true, but it used to be if you hit a deer, and called the state patrol. They would come out and help you, but they also came out and immediately dressed the animal, if it was if it was dead, and took it for butchering and took that food to um, the local children's home. Good or evil? You know, somebody's talking behind my back, and they're saying that I talk too fast on the video, and I they can't understand me, and they hate me because they can't understand me. That might be good for me to know because then I could slow down. Is it evil? Eh, for me, talking behind my back is not evil. It doesn't really hit the evil level. So what's your evil and your good? And toss it up. How can it be, how can your good be evil for someone else? You know, if I'm working with someone to prevent them from, if they're an alcoholic and I have decided it's my job to take all the alcohol away from them so they can be cured. Am I evil or am I good? You know, now that's not in my hula hoop. So that's not something I would take on. I might have before, before I realized what my hula hoop was. Um, but ask yourself what good and evil are. Let's, you know, I've talked about what God is to me. I've talked about a lot of things here on this channel. But good and evil, you know, it's like black and white. Is something absolutely black or absolutely white? And why is black bad to us and white's good? You know, black's the absorption of all colors. White's the absence. Shouldn't it be better to have all the colors? And shouldn't it be bad to have no colors? Good or evil, black or white. What's the line you draw in your own heart between good and evil? You know, I think we all have that in us. I think we all have the ca capacity for good and bad, um, good and evil. So I just, I just had to think about that this morning. My good could be somebody else's evil. So do we make room in our lives for those people? You know, can they still be part of my tribe? I don't know. It's something to think about. I'm really glad that y'all joined me on this Saturday morning. Tomorrow are our taroscopes. Um, I'm still toying around with what to use for the weekly deck, but this sneak peek is going to be your oracle. Isn't that wonderful? It's a beautiful deck. Awakening to your soul, to your divine self. It's an oracle deck put together by um, a group of artists, 39. 
there's 44 cards and I bought this from Jill Chesro and I'll give you a, a link to it tomorrow so that you can go get your own um, really like this deck really interesting it's very eclectic and that's a good I'm still looking at the bad cameraman I'm still looking over here um, but tell me your thoughts on good and evil is there good and evil in the world or is there not what about black and white is gray better you know and why is gray better why does anything have to be better there's another question for another day. I'm Arwen of Tarot by Arwen, reminding you, seek joy, y'all. Pass it on.